Hello, I'm Danny Venn, the Wholehearted Cook, and today I'm inviting you to come and dine with Kmart. Coming up next, we have our piece de resistance, the Sri Lankan beef cheek curry. I've got the pressure cooker here, which I'm going to cook my beef cheeks in first. I'm gonna start with just a little bit of, of coconut oil. When cooking beef cheeks, it's great to bring them up to room temperature before you start cooking them. And for a dinner party of around six people, I'd recommend around about 800 to a kilo's worth of beef cheeks. So I'm gonna add some aromatic ingredients into my beef cheeks. I've got a stick of cinnamon, ginger and garlic, a little bit of lemongrass as well. With lemongrass, you use the white part and then give it a good bash with the back of your knife. Release those beautiful essential oils. Curry leaf. Curry leaf is a quintessential Sri Lankan ingredient. The flavour just really can't be replaced. Another ingredient used a lot in Sri Lankan cooking is pandan leaf or rampa in Sri Lanka. Of course, a little bit of chopped chilli. So you can see that there's a nice golden caramelised colour on the beef cheeks, which is exactly what you're looking for. Also going to add in some coconut cream or coconut milk. About a cup or so of that some water and some salt as well. I'm gonna pop this lid on and cook the beef cheeks for about an hour and a half until they are tender and just pull apart and they'll be perfect for my Sri Lankan curry sauce. While my beef cheeks are cooking, it's the perfect time to start setting up the table. I really feel that this part is just as important as the food. It will elevate your dinner party to that next level and leave your guests feeling really special, but also impressed. Let's start with color palette. Now, because we're in the middle of winter, I've decided to choose this lovely bluish gray hue, which I think goes so well with my timber tabletop and just gives a bit of color to my dinner party setting. Now, a little personal touch that I love to add, I think it's essential, is a good quality napkin or some napery. I just love this. It's tactile, you can feel it, it's soft, and it just ties everything together with this really nice color palette. And finally, I love to add a little bit of nature. So get out into your backyard, do a little bit of trimming, add some green, fresh foliage to your table. It just brings the outdoors indoors and freshens up the look of your dinner table. To make our Sri Lankan curry sauce, I'm using some full flavored coconut oil. When the coconut oil has melted, add in one finely diced onion. Next, we're gonna add in some chopped ginger and garlic. Depending on how hot you like your curry, you can add in one or two red or green chilies. I've made a Sri Lankan meat curry powder, grinding down some coriander, cumin, fennel, turmeric, and quite a few other spices. You can look at my recipe. A good few tablespoons of curry powder. I also like to add in some fresh whole spices as well a pinch of cumin, a pinch of brown or yellow mustard seed, some fenugreek and half a stick of cinnamon. You want to cook the spices for about five minutes just to get rid of that raw spice taste. A few sprigs of fresh curry leaves will make all the difference to the flavour of your curry. Some lemongrass and a knot of pandan leaf. Always remember to season with some good quality salt flakes as well. To finish the curry sauce off, we'll add some liquid, some coconut cream or milk. And then we'll also balance the curry with some tamarind puree for sourness and either sugar or even a maple syrup for sweetness. We wanna let the curry sauce simmer away for a good 15 to 20 minutes and just let the flavors infuse before adding in our beef cheeks. It's definitely smelling so delicious in my kitchen. Now these beef cheeks have been cooking for an hour and a half and they are smelling delicious. To test if they're ready, just use some tongs or a fork 
and just press into the beef cheek. And if you can easily press into the meat and it falls apart at the side, you know that you're onto a good thing. So you can see that meat has been perfectly cooked, smells so good. And now to finish it off, straight into my Sri Lankan beef curry sauce. So I'm gonna add in my beef cheeks. You can pick out the aromatics like the lemongrass and the pandan leaf before you serve it, or you can keep it in as well. I think it gives it a nice touch. Alrighty, my beef curry is ready. It looks so delicious. Again, this is a great one to prepare in advance. Cook your beef cheeks slowly, make your curry sauce before your guests get here and just combine them between entree and main. And I can tell you now, this is a curry that might be a little bit unusual, but it is a winner. And I think your guests will love it.